So just getting back to this uh, approval workflow that I need um, approved, uh, sorry, this quote that we need to get approved. So like I said, I have to get it to the right people. They need to um, approve it. And then from there, I could get it to the client. So taking a step back, if I, without SharePoint, we would have to do this all manually. I would have to take the document from my file share, maybe um, attach it to a document, uh, sorry, an email, send it to Adele, send it to Pradi, hope that they get back to me in time, right? So I don't, might have to go over to their desk, nudge them, make sure that they're working on it, and then come back, maybe make some changes too as well. It, it kind of gets a bit messy, right? Right. And I, even I've seen companies, believe it or not, you know, print out pieces of paper, put them into folders, you know, inbox and outbox, if we're talking old school, they've, they're still continuing to do it that way. So we want to get rid of all this. We want to keep it, you know, paperless and within SharePoint. And like I mentioned, we're going to focus on attaching a SharePoint link. So that document will always be up to date, right? And no matter what changes are being made throughout the uh, approval process, it's always going to be the latest copy that they have. So like I mentioned, I created a list called quotes and this will be sort of like the starting ground for my approval. And with Microsoft Flow, I'm able to create a workflow that will allow to me to email this and allow for us to collaborate on this. So I'm going to click on new here. And I'm just going to fill this out. Let's call this McCormick quote. The client is McCormick, the total 15,000, the quantity 10,000. We'll skip the status for now. And then right here, like I mentioned, we don't want to attach a brand new document. We want to just browse over to our document library. And actually, if you notice right here on the left-hand side, uh, top left, I can actually use views. <clears throat> so if I click on that, there's my view that I have. It's a public view, so click on McCormick. It loads it up, and now I have it right here. Select it, insert and it's inserting, it's not attaching, it's inserting that link directly to that SharePoint document. So I'm gonna click Save, and that saves it to my quotes workflow list, right? right? Now, what should happen is, the first thing is being sent out to uh, Pradi, right? So I'm just gonna refresh this. So you're just refreshing the screen to see if yep. the status is updated. Yeah, so as you can see, it's up for approval. And you'll notice this, as we go through the different steps, I can get pretty granular. I could say it's being sent out to this person, now it's being sent out to that person, and it's giving you that audit trail, right? So this ensures that I've taken the right, uh, right steps, just in case anything happens, I've done my work, right? right? I've done it correct, and this ensures that there hasn't been a feature that's missed, right? Because it's being everything's being automated, there's no human error let's say, right? right? We're not skipping any steps. So I'm actually going to switch over. I'm going to do some more role playing. I'm going to pretend I'm Pradeep. So you've just, you are Keith, you've created a quote, um, you've submitted it for approval, and there's a couple of steps that need to happen in that approval process. And the first step that needs to happen is uh, Pradeep, yep. I think you're saying, yep. that needs to approve it, and he sits in operations, if I didn't remember. Uh, manufacturing. 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 Okay. So the thing about Pradeep, though, is he's heading to a uh, meeting in L.A. So he's at the airport. Um, but I know I could probably catch him because this sent out an email. Mm -hmm. And he has SharePoint and Word installed on his Android phone. So I'm going to show you right now. This is just a mirror of my screen, uh, my Android phone. And now this is also Android and iPhone. It's available for iPhone too. And you can notice I have Outlook, SharePoint, and Word. I also have Excel, PowerPoint, uh, the full Office 365. Mm -hmm. And I'm at the airport as Pradeep. Um, I have some downtime because I'm right. past security. I'm past baggage. I'm just waiting to board the plane. I have about an hour, right? right? I probably don't need that long, but let's just go into Outlook. I hope you don't need that long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So right here, there you go. Keith has sent us an email. Actually, it's, it wasn't him. It's through SharePoint, right? right. But, yeah, this was all I made. I remember that. Right. So a new quote has been created, the McCormick quote. 
And if you guys notice, the client, the quantity, the total, that's been exposed into the email, right? We fill that out. So this information as party, that could be enough. Mm -hmm. But just to be here, I want to see this quote information. So if you can notice, it's going to open up SharePoint. And what that does is it brings up the SharePoint app that's built into um, Android. And then from there, since we have a direct link to the Word document, it's going to open up uh, Microsoft Word, uh, the, the mobile app. The mobile so right. now the mobile app, just going back to the whole thing about um, the mobile app versus the, the client and some of the other versions, um, th they are the, I guess, the basic versions compared to like editing it on your desktop, right? Actually, so this was a SharePoint uh, item, right. right? So I have to click here and go into Microsoft Word, opens up Word. Now it opens up Word, sorry. It's opening it, and there you see, this is read only, right? I could actually edit it if I want to, but I really just need to see if it's, yep, we could definitely take care of this, 10,000, right? Um, it's going out at 150. Okay, I mean, maybe accounting might have something to say with that, but I'm just manufacturing, right? Everything looks good. I'm just going to go back into Outlook. And what I'm going to do is click on Approve because it's been fine with me and it's been approved. All right? So up next, I'm just going to go back to me, Keith. Right. Right? I'm going to refresh it. And last time it was out for approval, now the status is approved by manufacturing. Right, so there's actual a visual uh, prompt letting you know that the process is moving forward, it's gone to the next step of approval, and now it's off to whomever's next in the chain. Exactly, right? And the next person on the chain is actually Adele. Right. All right. So I have Adele's SharePoint here. Um, actually, quickly, the Contoso intranet that you're seeing here is kind of a bit different from the Contoso intranet that I was viewing. I was an intranet manager, so I had edit. But for hers, all you see is a clean interface. You don't see any editing. So going back to the whole permissions, Adele doesn't need to edit anything on the intranet. Right. It's a page, right? So she just needs to grab that information. So carrying on to the actual email, Keith right here, request for your input. Okay, I'm going to quote information. I'm going to open that up. Very similar to how Pradeep was working. And this is a shared doc. It downloads it. And once again, it's downloading the SharePoint version. I'm going to enable editing here. But now, now you're in the full version of Word. Yep. And it's just grabbing the file, though, from SharePoint. So this file still is in SharePoint. You're not copying it back and forth. Correct. Exactly. Right? Even though it's using, yeah, even though it's not using the web app or it's not physically SharePoint, it right. still has that connection, right. right? So this is great. Like, I guess a really good use case here is um, what if someone is working on that document and bef it's still in approval, but let's say they want to make those changes, they can still make those changes as, as the uh, workflow process is being updated and it's always going to be that live updated version. So I'm just going through it right now. It looks like everything looks good. It's a bit of a deal, but you know, when, whenever we make deals, um, we actually collect 100% of the deposit. So I'm just going to go in here. I have permissions to edit this. I'm going to save this, um, close that out, and go back to my email and click on approve. So I'm approving my changes as well too, and approving Keith's changes as well, right? And maybe I'll send out an email later or Skype Keith saying that, hey, I made this change, right? Or but that can how be done it, automatically too. Is yeah, that, is exactly. Right. So we haven't added it to this workflow, but that's a good uh, a good uh, perspective as well. I could create a text box where I could fill in saying, hey, um, this is this is why I changed it, and that goes back to Keith, right? So I'm going to minimize this and go back to Keith. So I'm Keith again, right? Corporate sales salesman. And I'm going to refresh this. And now the status is approved. And what I can do, take that, send it in an email, print it, whatever that needs to be done from a workflow perspective to get it to the client. So if I'm just going to kind of walk back through and 
And that's actually great. I think that really helps you understand, because um, you mentioned before, right, if this is the, the, the old way of doing things, or I think for most people, actually the current way of doing things, <laughs> right, it would be sending that attachment, you'd send it to multiple people, there'd be, you know, version one, version two, version three, version four, Jamie, version five, yeah. final, final, and, final, 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 right, and all that stuff. And at the end of the day, you know, probably if you wanted to get that document back, you know, let's say a week from now, you're, you're probably going to email the person who you yep. think is the authoritative source for that document and you've got nowhere to go where you can actually trust that that piece of content is final and current and the right version. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Awesome.